former IU and Cathedral football standout player. You see here, Chris Beatty shot and killed in downtown Indianapolis on May 30th. One of our friends here at Fox 59. So far, no one has been charged with a crime. The 38 year old was so well known in the community and is missed by many. On Sunday, September 13th, some of his friends are going to hold a pedal for peace bike ride in memory of Chris. And joining me live right now from the west side is Adrian Bannon, another one of Chris's good friends and the organizer of this event. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. How are you guys? I'm doing great. Um, again, we miss our friend desperately like I know you do. Will you first yeah. talk to us a little bit about um, how you met uh, Chris? Um, a lot of people know James Walden, um, our DJ, DJ No here, and that's how a lot of our viewers got to know Chris. How did you get to meet him? Through the same person, James. He uh, he was a he was a, a regular in our shop, and he always brought everything back to Chris, and that's how Chris kind of knew of me. And then it was just kind of love at first sight from there, and then we connected and became good friends and business partners and such and you know we won't miss him so yeah and a lot of people knew chris a lot of people knew chris because he was so welcoming to everybody he wanted everybody to succeed he loved indianapolis and he loved to ride his bike around so what better way to have a memorial ride tell us how this came to be well, that's what we did. We usually rode around and kind of took pictures of the city and talked about how we were all grow the city and stuff. So, you know, what other better way to get everybody together and do as such? You know, we got these shirts for them that we'll be having at my uh, barber shop for the next week. And if you buy one, you'll get a chance to win two bikes. And then also the Pacer Bike Share is giving a promo code. So if you come over to the bike ride with the Pacer Bike, then we'll be giving one bike away to somebody on a pacer bike as well. But yeah, we just uh, want to kind of see the city through his eyes and how we used to see it and kind of just get together and everybody maybe kind of get together and, you know, that's the way it goes. Everybody just kind of meet each other and work on a better Indianapolis. So. Yeah. A lot of money has been raised too with the scholarship fund. I know they can always use more money though because Chris wanted to give back and help so many people. Tell us a little bit more about the bike ride itself, how to sign up, and then also how folks can donate to the scholarship fund. Okay, so this isn't a fundraiser. This is just in memorial of him. There is a fundraiser. I'd have to get more information to you, but it's it's pretty available out there. But we're just trying to do a memorial for him and you know at this point and just kind of keep his name alive and you know hopefully that'll you know keep the memorial going or the fundraiser going as well but this is just to keep chris alive and you know in our hearts and just uh you know figure out how to make this world a better place i guess yeah how are you where are you guys going to ride specifically and how do people get uh, set up for that so we're all uh, meet at five o'clock from five to six thirty at the uh, south end of the canal right in front of the hall of champions it makes makes perfect sense and then we'll start there and cruise through fountain square through mass avenue through a couple of his favorite memorials you know we'll stop for a little bit and everybody get off and stretch and kind of check out each other's bikes and all that good stuff so adrian i want to leave folks on what you remember most and what you miss um about chris the most Man, he used to give a bear hug, but when he, uh, when you knew him, he made you feel like VIP and he made sure everybody else, you know, was, felt like, you know, they were somebody and that's what we need around here. So we lost a good leader in the city and, you know, in hopes that everybody can live like Chris and kind of share in the same and then we can all build off that, so. Adrian, thank That's you for being with us on this Labor Day. We sure do appreciate it. We miss Chris. We love him, and we appreciate you putting this together, too, in support of him to honor him. Ain't no problem. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. If you would like more information on the bike ride, fox59.com slash links. We'll also link you again to that memorial fund that I was talking to you about, um, that scholarship fund. It's 
out about or was at $200,000 again, but able to give people scholarships um, in Chris's name. So it's so important, Jim.